when I would work these high profile events, it struck, it dawned upon me a pattern that a lot of them were pro Zionism. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. And I would even boldly say maybe all of them. Mm -hmm. Considering that they run that industry. Over the years, many artists, actors, and famous people have been reported as being a part of a cult or openly symbolizing Satanism once they reach the peak of their fame. Many insiders have now spoken out, exposing this satanic cult and the evil they do behind closed doors. And the reality is far more sinister than what you could even imagine. Hollywood started from, from the Zionists. And if you look around the world, Hollywood is the central broadcast center of the world. Everybody wants to follow the stars, follow, you know, the dreams, the land of hope, and so on and so forth. So when I work for these people, you could feel a strong presence of, we care only for our people, and we're in charge. Were these people who were, would you say, following the example of Moses? No. Religious people? No. No? No, considering, uh, if they were following Moses, peace be upon him, and all the other prophets, according to their scripture, why are they producing movies that are immorality? Mm. at its finest. It wouldn't make sense a God-fearing person to put immorality and broadcast it, calling to evil. So these people, either they hide under the guise of the religion, you know, using the religion to their means, yeah, or they're wolves in sheep's clothing, basically. Mm -hmm. And these people, you know, unfortunately, they shift society gradually. Like, if you look at how men and women behaved only a hundred years ago, totally different. Mm -hmm. versus today you know with the way the woman used to dress where the men used to be it, Hollywood shifts the society to follow these like you should be like this this is the normal this is the norm this is the norm don't be strange don't be weird be like us be like us have you sat down and read the actual lyrics of the music mm -hmm. it calls to filthy things mm -hmm. dirty name talking uh, this is the stuff we listen to for enjoyment, unfortunately, today. This is what people listen to. It's a message, essentially. And whether or not it, music takes that effect to you, where you start acting like that, you behave like that, it's kind of like, in a sense, programming you. In order to become rich and famous in the eyes of the mainstream media, you must sell your soul to the devil and obey him and his minions. Although these famous people may appear to live extravagant lives and have millions of dollars, they are in reality the most depressed people on this earth. That is because they sold their true eternal life for this temporary worldly life. So they go to the Hollywood Cemetery and apparently Michael Jackson is buried there. Mm -hmm. You know, whether I know if that's true or not, Allahu Alam, God knows best. Um, and the next thing he asks her is like, I would need you to submit and prostrate to this grave. Just put your head down out of respect to Michael Jackson. Just prostrate to him. And my wife knows in the religion of Islam, we're not allowed to bow down to anyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a human being. What can this human he's being He's dead alone and he's dead. dead in the grave. Yeah, like just because he was a quote unquote star, it doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. So my wife was like, no. Associating partners with Allah is the biggest sin which leads to eternal punishment if a person dies without repenting. I don't watch TV anymore. Yeah. I don't want to support any of these people. Uh -huh. I, you're talking to someone who pretty much for four years, my homework was to watch Netflix and watch yeah. movies because this is the industry I was going to be in. So me watching it indirectly, I'm supporting these people. Mm -hmm. and I don't want to be a part of that. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful.